Hi everybody, this is Anna from the Well-Pointed Desk. You probably wondered what's taken me so long to get this video pulled together, but when you see how much work this was, uh, you'll probably understand a little bit better. Um, this is um, all of the samples of the Detrimentus uh, pearlescent inks as well as um, all of the uh, diamine uh, shimmer inks uh, that I have. Yes, there's a lot of them. Um, and also all of the J. Uh, 1670s um, that I sampled. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them. Uh, it took me a long time to do them all. Um, and it's why I did the um, video previously about how I sample uh, using uh, Q-tips. Um, or cotton swabs as the more appropriate and less specific term uh, is because uh, the, it's pretty messy to sample using um, uh, shimmer inks or pearlescent or inks that have glitter in them because it's pretty messy. So anyway, there's a lot. Um, this actually is not all of the new Diatrementus uh, uh, pearlescent inks. I'm missing a few of them. But um, these are really hard to show in photographs, so I've decided it would, would be better to show these in a video because you'll be able to see uh, the shimmer on these a little bit better. Um, so I thought I would go through them this way. Um, so for each color, what Diatrementus decided to do was for gold, um, sparkle, copper, sparkle, bronze sparkle and silver sparkle um, they did each of their individual colors now i don't think i have i tried to put these in order before i started the video um, so that i could show you each one and i think for their uh, yellow or they call it amber yellow i think i only have three um, i have the gold copper and bronze um, um, but you'll see there isn't a huge difference, really. I kind of think they all look the same. No offense. Um, and I'm just going to say right out of the gate here, I think Diatrementus should have made some judgment calls on the pearlescent inks and not done, I want to say there's like 36 pearlescent colors. Um, I think they really should have made some decisions about which colors. Pardon my super inky hands, but in order to finish this, I spent like 20 minutes trying to get all the ink off my hands before I started these videos. But anyway, I think they should have made some judgment calls about which colors were best represented um, with each of the, the different pearls. Um, I think that amber, the amber yellow with the copper maybe? I don't know. Like, I think these are all kind of meh. But anyway, with the yellow, the, the amber yellow, they they didn't do anything for me. I think it was like a whole lot of sameness. Uh, with the whiskey brown, I do have all four of the pearl, uh, the pearl essence. They did a gold, there's a gold, copper, bronze, and silver. Um, and those are the three sort of pearl bases. Um, and you can see there's, um, with the whiskey brown, there's a significant, you can kind of see the significant difference between the four bases. You know, the there's a big difference between what the whiskey brown looks like with the silver than the copper, but really between the bronze and the gold, I don't think there's as big a difference. Um, and even in person, I really don't think that there's a huge difference between the bronze and the gold. And if you were going to like try to make a purchasing decision between the two, I would really say go with the gold rather than the bronze. I think you're going to get more of a like a warm gold color than the bronze, um, even if you're buying a sample. And then if you were really going to just try pick one of the four, um, I think that the copper, the whiskey brown copper, is probably of the four, um, the most interesting, the prettiest, um, 
but I'll go through and I also, because I did um, the Diamine and the J Herbon, I can probably go back through and kind of compare them to some of the colors from the other manufacturers. So with the um, Carnelian Red, I also have all four bases. So there's the gold, um, the silver, um, actually I guess this one is the bronze, I mislabeled them. Bronze, oh, I have two of them labeled gold. I'm sorry, I mislabeled something. Oh, this is the copper, bronze, gold, silver. So, um, I really think this is sort of a, um, they're super, super sparkly. Um, the one thing that I noticed with all of the, uh, the diatramentous uh, pearlescence in the sample jars is that as they sat for a while, and you can see, like if I pull one of these out, you can see how much they settled. You know, you can see what this is, um, the cayenne, or the cyan blue gold. You see how much that settled in there? Even when I shake it up, that's really settled in there. Um, and it takes quite a bit of shaking to get that to move around. Um, comparatively speaking, like with the, the diamine shimmer, just picking it up, the crystals, the shimmer crystals in there, it doesn't take nearly as much effort to get those to move around. So I think from the standpoint of which one's gonna clog in a pen, um, I have a feeling that the diatromentus is going to clog way worse. And then like when you look at how much, you know, in the bottom of a bottle, um, like the stormy gray, like that settles pretty hard as well. Um, and I just did these today and I'm just, you know, I'm not shaking those too badly, you know, and that settles pretty badly too. So if you've had any experience with any of the other brands, I think the diatromentus, while it's really sparkly, um, that stuff settles really hard. Um, okay, anyway, um, the uh, magenta red, I only have the silver and the gold. Um, and in the writing samples, like even in the time it took me to shake up the bottles and write these, um, you know, the crystals you know, the pearl crystals had already started to settle pretty badly. And I mean, I literally like shook those samples really quickly and did my writing and they'd already settled. So, but, you know, I think um, I've seen some other like calligraphers and stuff who are, have been using some of these, not necessarily the diatramentus, but even the diamine and the um, the J Herbons who actually put them in a dish so that they can like literally kind of move them around as they're using them to keep the the pearl the pearl lesson or the shimmer moving around as they're using them so if it is something that you want to use for calligraphy and lettering I would say just keep you know that might be a way to, to get them to keep moving as you're using them so these were the pearlescent uh, Helio green, Helio gen green. I have the gold and the silver again. Um, and you know, the gold uh, pearlescent glitter and the silver really changed the color. And you do really see the, the color in the writing um, on these, but definitely shifts the color pretty dramatically um, on both the magenta and the magenta red and the green. I was disappointed that I didn't, wasn't able to get the copper and uh, the bronze to see what those look like. But again, I really do think that at a certain point, uh, the Etrementus probably should have made some decisions about how many colors they were gonna release because it's a crap ton of color. Um, the cyan blue, I have the silver and the gold again, um, and the same thing, like, I mean, you definitely see the color in the, in the writing, 
um, when I was actually writing with them, I couldn't tell whether or not that was going to show up. So I was starting to wonder, like, as I was doing the writing, like, is this actually going to show the sparkle or not? Um, it wasn't until it dried that I could tell. So this is the, um, the Indian blue, which I think looks like a, um, sort of a blue black or, a like an indigo blue. Um, and again, this is the gold and the silver sparkle. So, I mean, it definitely shows up in the writing. If you've got a, you know, a broad nib, it's going to show up. But boy, I'm not entirely sure I want to clean that up. So, and this is the Colomb what they're calling the Columbia blue, which I'm not entirely sure it's all that different from the Indian blue color wise. Again, I feel like they should have made some judgment calls and releasing as many colors as they did all at once seems a bit like, I don't know. This is their Brilliant Violet, which to me doesn't really look entirely like a purple. It, it's a little more of a blue violet to me, but hey, to each his own. And then the last, I have the silver and gold of their blacks. So I'll put a couple of these up against um, some of the deamines. So then I've got those here. So since most people have probably already seen these, I'll kind of put them up against these other ones. So here's the magenta flash. Um, and I'll put that next to um, the magenta red, silver from Diatrementa. So you can kind of see, comparatively speaking, the difference. Um, and I think the diamine um, is definitely more of a reddish color where the magenta red is a little bit more purple. So, and then the diamine uh, firestorm. And I'll compare it to the carnelian red silver. You can kind of see the difference. It does look like the detriment probably has a lot more sparkle in it. They definitely looks a little bit more concentrated. And then uh, the diamine uh, red red luster. So it's probably near the either the gold or the bronze. Wow, that's all catching light. Oh, I guess this is the copper. I'm sorry, that's the carnelian red copper. Now I'll actually stick the, uh, I have the pink glitz. And then, well, maybe I'll stick the brandy dazzle in here. Let's put that one in here. That's probably the close. The brandy dazzle and the red bronze. Let me get these all in here. See what the camera says. So, yeah, I definitely. I don't think Diatrementus came up with anything that came close to the Brandy Dazzle. I still think the Diamine kind of wins there. Um, that's such a good color. I'm kind of looking to see if there's anything. Nothing really came close. Um, and then. The pink glitz from Diamine next to the the carnelian, um, and I still don't think Diamine's the pink glitz is really all that. I mean, it's, well, I guess it's supposed to be sort of like the gold. So, I did find that the Diamine's um, not as wet as the Diatrementus ones. So, and then Golden Sands kind of fell, Diamine's Golden Sands kind of fell in, whoop, so 
Sorry, get that in the camera. Um, somewhere. I'm sticking it right in the middle of the... Um, maybe along with the whiskey brown bronze. Gotta say, it's just a prettier color than some of the than some of the other ones. So if you're looking for that sort of sparkly sort of golden color, I think Diamond's still winning that that race. Um, and then let's see what else did we have in the the, this is the Diamine Magical Forest, which is still um, you know, when compared with uh, the Diamine uh, or the Dietrementus Helio Green um, the Helio Green is more like a, I think of like a Christmas tree green where the Magical Forest had a little bit more of a um, like a forest green, it's a little, got a little bit more blue green in it um, with a silver sparkle. So, if you're looking for that Christmas green, I think the Diatrementus is still gonna, you know, um, yeah, if you're looking for a Christmas green, I think the Diatrementus is a better option. If you're looking for something, um, the Magical Forest has it's a little blue green but it has that silver shimmer. So, and then um, the cyan blue pearl pearlescent from Diatrementus and blue lightning are both pretty close and they both have a bit of a red um, sheen. You can really see the Di that Diatrementus does have a bit of a red sheen. On it, I really was able to capture that on the uh, the coloring cards. Um, you don't notice it quite as much on the the, D, the Diamine card. There's really you don't see it at all, but I did get a little bit of it on here. But they're pretty close. Um, Diamine's blue shimmer or blue pearl. Um, I did catch a little bit of sort of a red sheen, a little bit of a um, sort of a rust sheen on there underneath the silver sparkle. Um, but it is pretty close to the Indian blue um, with the silver. So those are pretty comparable. Um, the Shimmering Seas and the, from Diamine and uh, the Columbia Blue with the gold are pretty close. I think the Shimmering Seas is a little bit darker blue. So anyway, those are pretty, pretty similar. Um, Diamine's uh, Purple Pizzazz, it's ever so slightly purple. You can see it just a tiny bit right there in the corner, but otherwise I think it's almost black. It's so dark. Um, and then, let's see, I've made, you guys can't see my mess, but it's just like a sea of cards over here now. I've made a total mess. Um, uh, so I've got a couple more diamine left. Uh, let's see, the diamine night sky and Sparkling Shadow, which are sort of their two blacks, one with uh, silver sparkle and one with gold sparkle. So those would be comparable to the velvet black with the silver and the velvet black with the gold. Um, but I definitely think that the Diatrementus has considerably, looks like it has considerably more sparkle in it. So, but those are pretty, uh, pretty similar. Look at that big blob I made. Yeah. Um, I did these uh, swatches over several weeks 
Um, you know, I'd come home from work in the evenings and do a few of them. Uh, they took forever, and I did uh, two sets, one for myself and one for uh, Lisa at Van Ness Pens. Um, because she provided me with a good deal of the sam most of the samples actually, um, and uh, so I did a set for her um, for the, her shop, and uh, yeah, so it took me an extra long time. I made a big huge mess. Um, oh, last but not least, somewhere down here I have where did I put them? The J Herbalon samples. So there's only five of those. Um, and I still, to this day, think the very first sparkle samples I ever got, um, was the Rouge Hematite, which is still not really a sparkle sample. It, to me, reminds me of, like, the, like, like, beetle shell, because it's not really sparkle. It's like, it's red and brown in certain lights, and then it gets that greenish cast, so it just reminds me of beetle shell. So, but this is, um, my sample is from an original, like one of the very earliest bottles, and I'm not entirely sure that this is what, if you were to buy a bottle of Rouge Hematite today, that this is actually what it still looks like, or if they've added a ton of sparkle to it. So, don't hold me to it. I'm not sure if they've reformulated it to be more sparkly. But, if this is what it still looks like, uh, it's one of my favorites because it is so unusual. Um, it's less sparkle and more sheeny odd. Um, and it's, I don't think anything else is like it. So anyway. Um, then there's the uh, Karub de Chibra, which doesn't get a lot of love for most people, um, but it is a chocolate brown with a hint of like, it has gold sparkle and then it gets kind of a greenish cast around the edge. And I can't say that any of the other browns get anything like it. So if you're a fan of brown, um, and it's very chocolatey, warm brown with that gold. It's really a lovely color. And it, it is one of my favorites, despite um, a lot of the Jay Herbon inks being a little bit runny. So I still like that one. Um, and then Stormy Gray which is um, sort of a gray with a golden sparkle. And the way is it sparkly today? This was just a really, this one came out really nice. Um, but yeah, it's super sparkly. And so when you put this one, let's find the other gold gray sparkles. Let's see. They were in here somewhere. So this is the Diamine um, Sparkling Shadows, and then I moved everything around. Hold while I dig through my mess. There's the Velvet Black. And, oh, there's the other one. So, they're pretty, they're pretty comparable. So, you know, if you have to choose, I mean, the Jay Herbon does come in a pretty bottle. They're all going to clog your pens, you know. Pick your poison. So, <laughs> yeah, this is my, that's my, uh, my bringing endorsement. They're all going to clog your pens. Just pick one. Um, and then, um, this is a very early bottle of the Blue Ocean, um, the 1670. Um, and this one is particularly runny. It's got the gold uh, sparkle. Um, I do not know if they've reformulated this one. I, you know, I'm sure it's been remixed a couple times. I know they were futzing around with it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's a particularly runny example. And the Herbon is a little notorious for their watery ink. But uh, I'm looking for the other... I don't know that the other brands are quite as, I mean, that is a, a vi pretty vivid blue. I don't think, like, this is not quite as blue. That's a silver one. And it's a gold one. There's definitely more gold in that. So, I don't know. 
Um, you know, if you're looking for one that's not going to be as as runny in ink, the diamine, I mean, uh, diamine inks are always um, more well behaved. I would be inclined to say probably even if they're not, um, even if they do have sparkle in them, I'd probably be more inclined to buy a diamine ink. But, you know, the Jager Bond do come in pretty bottles, even if they're a pain to get ink out of. Um, but anyway, did I show them all to you? I think I did. Did I get all of the... Oh, I did not get the... Uh, everybody's favorite. Where did it go? The last one. I saved the best for last. Um, the J. Herbon. The one that makes everybody crazy. The Emerald of Shavor. Um, if you're going to buy a J. Herbon uh, 1670, I would say get this one. Um, because it makes everybody crazy. And if you're going to jam a pen, do it with this one. Uh, look at that sheen. Look at that sparkle. It's teal. It's got sheen on the edge. Gold sparkle. Clog a pen with it. Have some fun. It's gorgeous. Nothing else like it. So anyway, that's the whole mess. It's all of them. Now they're all out of order. And... I'm going to have to get really anal and put them back in order. Um, but anyway, I hope this helped. Um, they all make me crazy. It took me three weeks to put this together. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave questions in the comments. Um, I will take photographs and put them in the blog. Um, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>